Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my whack-a-mole, I mean Kislev playthrough, where we are just running backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards here, and it is becoming quite a pain in the butt. We are slowly bringing up the friendship with Prague with the aim of confederating them long run. As such, I'm not going to give them a military alliance, because military alliances basically make them take your power into consideration, which actually makes it harder, potentially, to confederate them. Come on, Franzi! Come on, Franzi! Ah! Oh. Long-term game. Slap Franz around the back map for not giving us a peace treat, uh, a trade agreement. Make him pay! I mean, not anytime soon, because I'm not going to have a chance, and he's quite goddamn powerful already, actually. Um, he's slowly pushing the vamps back, so, um, I really want to get an army down here to get the other mountain there to get the whole region in the Northern World Z mountains, but it is what it is at the moment. Ooh, that, I was going to say, is that a new Kislev boat? No, that's, that's a Wood Elf boat. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to hold this. As some of you have pointed out, this is no longer... Um, I, I mentioned that I thought that Throg was the leader of this faction. He isn't anymore, because they've already been beaten confederated. Which is the horrible thing about Norskans. They can basically just confederate themselves in no time. Um... Maybe a little too spread. Ready for war. Charge. Our weapons are yours. Hit them first. Cavalry slam into them just to slow them down, please. Standing by. Yes, my lord. Or to at least get a bit of charge in there. Whoa, 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 whoa! At speed! We obey! Cavalry ready! Take the ground! Sigma guides us! Get out of the enemy! Formation march! Show us the foe! Understood! Our weapons are yours! Formation march! Prepare for combat! Slam back into the rear of him while these guys keep shooting. Not quite sure why they milled around there, but it helped me. Break, 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 break. That poor unit of Cossars there, but they are doing their job nicely. Charge into the rear. No, no, no. Uh. There we go. We need to try and hold them there now, annoyingly. That's it. That's it. Break it. Goddamn mage. them to break so I can turn. There we go. Slam into the rear of here. You guys just keep shooting as much as you can. Come on. God damn. It's over. But it was a glorious battle, guys. 
glorious battle. Um, while we lost, we made them absolutely pay for it. They had a much better force than me there. To be fair, I could have probably gone with, done with taking these guys out earlier, but I had to take everything out. Um, and let us be honest, their lord is what won it for them because I couldn't take him out. Lamont Dahl, and he is actually the faction leader for them, I believe. So, um, that's fine. We, it's the mountains. I'm not overly fussed by that. I'm just getting annoyed at the goddamn Skaven, which keep hitting the helper. Ooh, they just raided it. Lady of the Glade, at your service. I acquiesce to your request. Starting out. Let us. Oh, I've moved too far. Anything is possible. I was going to set up an ambush, but I've gone too far. I smell. Oh no, there might be a rebellion. What will I possibly do when the dwarves reappear and reassert themselves? How will I cope? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it might be a chaos invasion because of the amount of chaos corruption there, which is a little annoying. But we can hope it's the Dowie uh, to reassert themselves there because that would be epic. I am going to start working on a second army, guys. Um, a small force of Streltsy. Small elite fort of Streltsy, whose job is going to be to sit in Zoroshank. Uh, Zoroshank to rebuild. Uh, and defend it while I rebuild and give us a bit more flexibility. Uh, now my income is going the right way. I can Come just on, about afford assistance. doing that. The forest has spoken. Azrae. Your orders are acceptable. And Zavastra is the best place to build that. Oh, one day, one day. So our Ungal and I don't think either are ranged. No, we've had him before, so... One, two, three. Oh, I could, I'd like to put a couple of them in, but it's not worth it. I could... Can't really afford to put a couple of anything in. Um, no, we will get a couple of Keepers of the Hunt in here as well. How much does Streltsy cost per turn? So that's not too bad. It's about, well, it's, I'm going to say about 600. It doesn't need to be a big force here. Because this is mostly going to be following garrisons around the place. No Let's hope the Skaven fall for that. They might well go for the fortification, which is completely understandable. Um, we're also going to push out, as they're here, we're going to push out, find the elves, and make, get trade going. This is where this all gets fun. They're going up to there. Damn it! Wow, they are doing very well on their confederating, so actually I might be better swapping him around, but 
Ah. You need me? Your request is reasonable. To war! Can I catch them? Can I catch I them? Forth. Yes! Finally! Whack a smack a rat is complete. I will take the cash. What do you need? Misguided. Proud daughter of Athel Lauren. So? So we'll get him in a turn. What else would I like in this army? So I'm, I'm literally going to leave it as that to start with because this is literally just to help maintain the garrison. I am not even going to bother repairing that. We will see what sort of rebellion we get going on. Ah, we uh, encountered Corone or Bretonia. And our population is slowly increasing as well. We've got some extra population surplus. But yeah, oh. I think maybe I was trying to be a little bit too expansionistic, which is why we've ended up with the, as somebody did correctly point out, not whack-a-mole, smack-a-rat, because we've been dealing with Skaven. But this this rebellion will hopefully be good. If it's, if it's dwarves, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to, might sound daft, I will probably sit in their territory to defend them as I build my reputation with them. That is definitely necessary for us. What does the Emperor bid? The Empire. Finding pathways. Hmm. Oh yeah, immortal. Really? Oh, I might have to go raid my own territory a bit to get that rebellion to go off, but... We'll see. We shall see. I should also be spending some of my, um... Resilience to upgrade some of my units, some of my more key units in my army, so certainly my Streltsy. I am going to try the arm idea of an army, which is basically your front line of Streltsy. Oh, we're going to have to turn around. Really? You want to do this? Oh, it's not even worth fighting. Oh, God! Next time I say something's not even worth fighting, guys, tell me it, it goddamn is. These are dark times. I acquiesce to your request. Not by my hand. I go then. Ah, uh, let's get stop for him. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, damn. The ah. They can still attack it without. Mm, never mind. To the provinces. By Sigma's right. Now we've just defeated some of their armies, so actually, whichever woeful deity protects, we're not in a bad position here. Well, these guys will build up again in a few turns.
We will get there eventually. I want bears. Needs a steel smithy, so let's start working on that. Buffing my Krem Guard. Because long run we will probably have some Krem Guard in this arm. More Krem Guard in this army anyway. No, we don't have one which just provides growth. I basically want to push the uh, Norskans back out of that territory to allow a rebellion to occur. And then if it's dwarves, I can foster it. If it's chaos, I can smash it. If it's chaos, I think I'm going to give up on that plan and just slowly recap all that territory. Um, it's a shame because they would have been a really good allies in the north because they could take the, the, the far north territory much better than I can. While I can potentially get away with it, it's not got walls. It's just a pain in the butt to hold. Oh, God. Well, looks like we've got a battle on our hands, guys. Um, we fought similar battles before and won, though we are a bit weakened from that stupid auto-resolve I did, if I'm honest. Uh, we've got a good solid front line of four units of Streltsy rather than three the last time we did something similar to this. Uh, so I'm not too worried. Oh, and the, the terrain is actually quite good. I'm going to fall back just a little bit so we can get my things. I'm not corner camping too much. Too much. I am a bit. I will happily admit I'm corner camping a bit. Show us the phone. Sorry, put the weaker unit in the centre. Definitely taking a gamble on that magic. There we go. Now, the, the other option I could have done here is just pushed forwards to try and get them to engage early. But I would like to get my reinforcements in as well. Just gives us a Hell of a lot of archers, if I'm honest. Oh, they've actually come at us. That is a brave move. So guys, are they literally going to just ride in front of the fire line? Oh no. 
A little bit. <laughs> it's alright. Let's rotate a bit, because I'm fairly sure that's where the enemy is coming from next. So it's going to be Mammoth killing time to start with, and we should have enough range to do that. Well, Mammoth and Throg killing time. Trying to hit them, they're annoying. I know I could save this and use it, potentially use it better, but... It's also dangerous to my own unit, so I always want to be a bit careful. <laughs> Are the mammoths even going to make it to our line? Well, that one is. Hit them! Oh no no, move over here. And then we'll we'll fall back in. Keep engaging. Sorry, let's slow them all first, and then vortex them. Behold my power! <laughs> my and she can charge. Yes, General. Sir. Understood! Nice. I don't need to chase any more down. That is what happens when you attack the might of Kislev. That front line of Streltsy. I mean, the amount of range we had there is awesome. I mean, the Keepers, the Hunt, though, and Streltsy work together. I, I do think a full front line of Streltsy followed by a second line of Keepers of the Hunt. And I think most things would struggle against you because the damage output you've got there and the fact you've got a front line which can actually hold the line because by the time they even get to you they've already taken damage which is hugely beneficial actually um it's not something to be sniffed at in the slightest um Right, right, run away! That wasn't even a full army. Whichever woeful deity protects you. Yes, please. It Brief. Ends here. Mm, no, actually, I'm not going to peace with them because I want to be able to defend this territory. Oh God. Lady of the Glade at your service. I will marshal the men. Yes, my lord. Oh for God's sake, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Ah It's not the first time I've done that. God damn. I'm actually going to give him a war horse. Orders? Hmm. 
I think Frostbite just slows them down? Does she have a spell which does Frostbite? We'll have to find out. Well, these guys are different. Enables flaming damage. Oh! Oh, but lowers the weapon damage. But makes your magic resistance. Ooh. It's an interesting mix. Hmm. I'll have a think with them. These are dark times. How can I assist you? Your request is reasonable. Proud daughter of Athel Lauren. Now, step to it. God damn, can't believe I did that. So? Here goes the rebellion! Cross your thing as for dwarves! I think I might need to capture their capital to force it to be dwarves, but we could still get them here potentially. Um, honestly, not quite sure how the rebellion mechanics work, but. I know if there's a higher percentage of. Whoa! The vampire counts are already dead! That was not expected. No, I do not want peace with you. Ah. In which case, actually, for now, for I am going to get accept peace with them. I've been looking forward to this. But I'm going to make Prepare them to be a for it. Ah. It's done. Can I offer assistance? The forest has spoken. To the provinces. What? Ready? What does the Emperor bid? Praise Sigma. Let's this time not ab accidentally abandon the settlement. Look, my glacial majesty, champion of you come to Britain to war. What brings you to <sighs> now? Friends of the Empire, come. I don't agree with God that. damn you, Franzi. The winds blow strong. Well, not quite far enough just yet to discover them, but we're getting there. Ah, so that's how they differ from each other. Okay. So the different Lord types buff different units, which is hardly surprising. God, the Empire is actually getting quite terrifying. <laughs> Did 
they're not technically at war with me, but that is a worrying. We've got walls all down there, so I'm not too worried by them. I acquiesce to your request. To the provinces, the nation calls. A timely arrival. My... Hmm. My glacial majesty, Catherine. Anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So... We're going to recapture here, and I'm going to keep hold of it for the time being. If we get a Dwarven Rebellion at some point, so be it. But in, in other, unless that happens, I'm just going to hold on to here. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, so plan for next time is to get this whole region under our control. Wipe these guys off the face of the earth, and then potentially look at getting some colonial ventures down the sides of the mountains here. But that is something for the, potentially for the long future because I want to make first thing first once I've got here is maintaining what we've currently got. As always, thank you for watching. A massive, massive thank you to my patrons as well. You really do help make all this possible. Other than that, um, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. That's what I was trying to find. Cheers, guys.